G'day everyone. So wow, straight into it then. As you will no doubt know, Paradox Interactive had their announcement stream live last night and one of the big surprises to everyone was that City Skylines 2 will be coming in 2023. So hugely exciting for us City Skyline players as we're about to celebrate 8 years of the current version and it's still going strong. So let's have a look at this announcement trailer and break down what we see. It's time to start from the beginning. Yet evolve. So firstly, this is really important, not actual gameplay. I know it's easy to get swept up in the hype, but let's remember the game they release will likely not look exactly like this. These are CGI cinematics we're seeing here. So it's just keeping that in mind. I play a lot of other games too and I know I've been guilty of getting swept up in hype and then disappointed when it doesn't look like that. So when they actually release some real gameplay to us later in the year I assume, then we'll see what it really looks like. I do love this shot though, from the hills, some assets here like a service station and something else there, leading up to the huge city skyline in the background there, it's nice, even if it's cinematics. Into something new. This highway bit looks epic. Again, makes me think that the first person drive along might be a thing. We can do it just now with a mod, so perhaps that'll be base game functionality, which would be quite cool. This looks a little more realistic, doesn't it? Not super CGI, would but beautiful roundabout, roads and props over to the side with seats and umbrellas. So again, who knows what that'll mean for day one release, whether they're part of building assets or something you can place independently of that. Super cool though. This city has a story. Some more first person here. Again, this looks more like real gameplay rather than cinematic CGI to me. So we're maybe getting a glimpse here of street level activity, little sims going about their daily lives. Doesn't look super overcrowded either, which is nice. Envision a world created by you. This part with the weather looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I know it rains in our current version, but stepping it up a level here with the graphics, fair play. Whereas this part looks a bit cinematic cgi -y, doesn't it? If it really did look like that when it's released, we'd need a graphics card as big as my house to run that bad boy. <laughs> So again, hard to tell, we're only speculating with not very much information to go on here, but that looks closer to the real deal, doesn't it? Different looking cargo ships, the docks there, which looks so nice, and then that beautiful city sitting right behind it. Really nice stuff. Your chance to shape the future. To create and inspire. And we do know that seasons have been confirmed, so that is great news. So here we're seeing winter transition to spring and what looks like more realistic gameplay in the background there, doesn't it? Expand way up high and bring life to your creations. New worlds to explore and pursue. This all looks a bit cinematic now to be fair. It's very lifelike and it would be a real surprise I think if that level of realism was delivered. Happy to eat my own words and I don't want to sound negative, but yeah, it would be a push to get that level of realism to run on a medium spec PC that doesn't have 128 gigs of RAM and a blazing CPU and a GPU the size of America. But it's pretty, you can't deny that. Here, you are the visionary. You are the creator. 
then finally this part here. Now I'm trying not to get hyped myself here, but that looks more like realistic gameplay to me. It definitely looks like what we have now, but taking up about a hundred notches. So I can see this being closer to the real deal personally. But again, we'll just have to wait and see when we get hold of some real gameplay video. You make cities. And that's it. So lots in there. I mean, it looks epic no matter what your view is. And above all else, I think delivering an updated version that will utilize modern hardware, taking advantage of more than one core on your CPU if you're a PC player, for example, leveraging your GPU properly, really leaning on more updated and modern hardware, and combining that with a newish game engine, which can do so much more than what was available in 2015. I think either way, whatever we end up getting is going to be pretty amazing. Definitely. Well, that's it for this video. Pretty exciting stuff. I cannot wait to hear more over the coming months when we get more information. If you like City Skylines, I've got a Let's Play series over on my channel. Jump over and check it out. The link is below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're on Discord, head over to my Discord community and say hi. And until next time, take care, have a great day, and thanks again for watching.